Hi guys, it's Steve from Steve Small World back with you. Um, this week we're going to be looking at doing a cobblestone style tile. Be used for your dungeons or you could just add a, the technique into your terrain. I tested the technique out in a tiny little piece to start with. And now we're going to take it a bit further. Right, I'll get the table set up and I'll be straight back with you. Right, we're at the table. I'll cut myself a roughly a four inch square. It's not a bit rough, I'll just use scrap for this. Um, we're going to coat this with some Mod Podge and then we're going to start laying down some of our red seed lentils. You probably want to work in sections otherwise you'll find you put your finger in the glue or a dry before you get to it. It's not exactly the fastest process so we're going to just whack on an area like that. and just dump them on a few on first and then move them about afterwards it's like a test of patience doing this right, I've been going for a little while I've just worked out a quick way of doing it if I put the lentils out all the same way round and get a glue spreader and just slide them up to where you want them. And they don't tend to stick to your finger then and you don't get so much problems. You see it's quite a bit quicker. Thickened up the amount of glue I put on. Some of the odd ones the wrong way around, it adds a bit of texture. Alright, we finally got that, they're all stuck down. In the end I found it's easy to pick them up with the end of the brush, just pick up a little bit of glue on the end of the hard end of the brush. Oh, if I can get in camera, there you go. And then just do it as you saw in the video. I'm gonna whack over this with some very dark grey, it's almost black, it's pain's pain's grey. Just deliberately dab it on. Spray it if you wish. Right, we're all black coated, it's all dried or dried ish. And now we're going to over brush it, so I'm going to use the um, same type of paint, um, but this is a medium grey. I brush a bit heavier, so you don't want your brush loaded, so it's still going to wipe it off. And then just over brush it. Guys, grey's dried. We're going to work on some uh, washes and get some colour into it. So first of all, we start off with a brown wash. Just whack it up. Whack this one on quite heavily. All right, now we're going to try some get some colour into it. So I'm going to grab some red. That's our new palette. Yellow. Grab some Flowade, <coughs> slice of propanol glycerol, and also just add some on my palette. Right, let's grab some yellow. Let's put that up there a minute. 
where you can go into tighten it down a little bit. And do it again. Right, our greys are all dried up, our washes and all the colours are all dried up, so now we're going to give it a dry brush. I have three colours, I have some underhive ash, some terminus stone and long beard grey. Just give us some options. You can use normal emulsion to dry brush as well, I just quite like these colours. So we'll start off with the... Was this under high ash? Just always get a bit of cardboard. Oh, can't get it on camera. Just push it out. Cream. So I'll just get this off the brush again. Just work it around. It's a bit, little bit heavy actually, but should be okay. Right now we're going to do our last brush which is a long beard grey. And then we'll let that dry. Right now we're all dried, our dry brush paint's pretty well dry. I'm just going to whack on a bit more brown wash. This is really to get in the areas that are too black. I'm not overly keen on so I just want to break them up a little bit. I'm just picking out some of the larger areas. Just muddy them up a little bit. Just add a brown tinge to them. Right, I'm happy with that. I'll leave that to dry and then we'll seal it up in a minute. Right, now this is all dried up, we're going to put a layer of Mod Podge on top. I quite like the finish this gives, to be honest, and it's a nice, tough, protective layer. Don't worry about it being white, it will dry clear. Also helps make sure all the stones or lentils are all sealed into the board. Add sort of another texture layer to the top, actually, to be honest as well. So I'll whack on and coat this. all coated we let that dry up and we'll come back to tie off in a minute right guys everything's pretty well dry um, probably another half hour so that'd be completely dry here's our results oh, let's try and get this up so you can see it so you got some nice colors in there and the surface is quite nice and hard to work 
for your figures to go on. It shouldn't put anything off. Which is the idea of the Mod Podge. It also has a slight sheen, which I quite like. Um, a few little things with it. Putting the lentils down, first of all. Tried it with fingers. That was a pain in the backside. Tried it with a glue scraper, putting the lentils on the side and then pushing them in. It worked okay. In the end, I settled for using the end of a brush. Just wet the end of the brush with a bit of glue and pick them up and put them on. A lot quicker. Because halfway through, I'm thinking, I'm never doing this again. But by the end of it, I thought, yeah, okay, I can live with this. And when you get the result, you think, yeah, okay, I definitely can live with this. Right, I've got a few other things to crack on with. Um, think about what we're going to do for the week after. And thank you for watching. Please give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe, share, let's get these out there. More people supporting, more information that gets out there. More people doing channels. Let's get everyone involved. Let's grow the community and build some great terrain together. Right, I'll catch you soon. Take care. Cheers.